Hey guys, I just wanted to make this really quick video. My PlayStation today it stopped working and started blinking red. And uh, I didn't really know that what that was until I went online and checked it and I figured out uh, it's generally a malfunction uh, warning. It's not the yellow light of death, but there's something wrong with your machine. And generally one of these things would probably be uh, overheating. So I watched a tutorial online and completely disassembled the entire PlayStation and uh, came to these guys, which is the CPU and the GPU, which had the thermal cream on it. And uh, I've taken that off using some spirits. Uh, and I went to a Radio Shack, or in our case, Technique Magazine, and uh, got some new thermal paste. And I saw something very interesting on the thermal paste package and that is that this has a, a durability of about eight years which is interesting because the playstation is about eight years old this is like the first version of the playstation 3 released in europe and uh, so if you have a playstation 3 the first edition that came out in november of 2007 and it stopped working you probably need to change your thermal paste. It doesn't mean your PlayStation is broken, but your thermal paste needs to be replaced. So go to your Radio Shack or to your Technique Magazine and uh, get some new thermal paste. Now, I'm gonna put a link under here on a tutorial of, by uh, Rob pa Paolo, who goes very thoroughly through how to disassemble this thing. Uh, he's gonna show you how to dis disassemble the 40 gig, but it's pretty much the same thing You got a few extra components that you have to screw out a few extra screws here and there and some very subtle differences But the general idea is still the same So uh, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna give you an update if it works or not Okay, let's see how this worked Now of course just replacing uh, the thermal paste uh, will not be enough to make your PlayStation work again. I actually had to do this twice. The first time I did do the warming up of the motherboard, but I didn't do it enough. You see, the thing is, you actually have to heat up your motherboard to the point where actually the solderings slightly melt. So you fix up all the connections. This seems a bit dangerous. Uh, and it probably, if you go too hard on it, it might be too dangerous, but it's actually quite weird how warm you have to get this up uh, now what i did was uh, to go in and change the thermal paste and i warmed up the motherboard with a heat gun and uh, apparently i was a bit too uh, pussy about it so it wasn't really that hot and it didn't really help but instead of opening it up again i used another tutorial of somebody who'd done a quick fix uh, just using a normal hairdryer in the vents of the PlayStation for 15 minutes. Uh, I did this, <laughs> the PlayStation turned extremely hot, uh, which I thought like this is gonna ruin it, but still I gotta give it a try because I hadn't gotten it work yet, and lo and behold, now it works. In other words, you don't need a heat gun to fix the PlayStation, but you do need a thermal paste if you want this fix to last. I've heard other people saying that this won't last no matter what you do, uh, so you might also want to back up your PlayStation when this starts happening because sooner or later you won't be able to start it up again. This is probably going to happen to a lot of people now uh, around this time because the PlayStation is 7 or 8 years old. So um, I hope this uh, helps a lot of you guys. I'll put the link to the other tutorials uh, in the description and I will guess I'll talk to you later.